and visit the red carpet in the lobby to receive a free gift just for you. Good afternoon, TCC. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey. It's the noon crew in the house. We are so excited to see you this afternoon. My name is Pam, and this is... Not Pam. I'm Larry. Not Mary. Pam. Hey. That's right. What's up, guys? Larry. Yes. Larry, we're so excited to see you this afternoon. We know that you probably have big plans for the Super Bowl tonight. Anybody got plans? Who's got plans in the house? You watching? Who's watching? What? They're not excited, Larry. They're staying home with their kids and just who's, eating a bunch of food. Who's going to stay yeah. home and make, yeah. make their own? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, uh, I kind of like the Super Bowl, but only for the commercials and the halftime entertainment and the food. Um, you yes. Like, you mute the football and turn yeah, it on for the commercials? Yeah, that's the way it goes when I'm around. Anyway, we're excited to see you today. Um, it's a blast having you here. Um, we want to encourage you to take out your, your, your connection card. So go ahead and find that. You're either sitting on it or it's in the seat back in front of you. Yeah, I you're, love you're to sitting say, on it right yeah, there. I the love front. to say that because I feel like a stewardess. It's in the seat back in front of you. So just reach in there, get that connection card, and we would like everybody to fill that out for us, all right? It helps us to keep updated on your info. Um, it also, down at the bottom, there's a little spot for prayer requests. We want to know what's happening in your life. We take that very seriously around here. You are prayed for and prayed over every week. So we want to make sure we know what's happening in your life. So if you just fill that out and drop that in the gray buckets as they're passed, then we will get that information. Um, also, if you are a first-time guest, you are our VIP. We are here for you today. So if you are a VIP, we want to encourage you to fill that out and take it to the red carpet in the lobby. You can't miss it. There's some bright gold balloons there and a red carpet. We want to give you the VIP treatment, and we've got a free gift for you out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's an awesome way to connect. And another way we can connect is we got the Run for the Love of It coming up. That's right. And today is the last day that you can either sign up to volunteer, which we need volunteers, y'all. We need you. Or run. Um, if you don't know what it is, um, family-friendly event where there's a, a chip time 5K run walk. There's a race for the, with the kids afterwards. There's jumpies for the littles. Um, there's great music. And there's an awesome refueling station. And even better is... Um, the proceeds are for TCC global mission work, right? So not only is it helping our mission work in Hayes County, which is mission work, y'all, um, but also it benefits what we do in Guatemala and Haiti. So we need your support. Come on out. You can sign up in the booth in the lobby. Yeah, it's going to be great fun. Um, it starts right out there in the parking lot. Um, Pastor Cole is running, and so you want to come run with him. He's been come, training come hard. Come beat him and brag yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. That you no, beat I don't pastor. know. He's been, he's been training. He's all right. He's pretty he, good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He can run a bit. So um, come and try to keep up with him or just, just walk and have a good time with your friends. All the proceeds are, are for good cause. So something I am personally excited about that involves no sweat is Sounds the Chosen good. Women's Conference. Woo! Yes. So, yeah, we're excited about this. It's happening later this month, February 23rd and 24th. So if you are a lady in the house, we want to encourage you to be involved with that. Um, we have Pastor Linda Seidler coming from West Virginia. She's going to tell it like it is and she's a girl just like us and so i'm super excited it's a friday night and most of the day saturday we have extended the 65 dollar rate through today so you get one more chance to get a discount on your price um, and i will be at that table right outside the worship center doors after church so come by and see me i can answer any questions i can walk you through it i can take your res registration it's going to be a blast don't miss it yeah, my wife Katie went last year and she's going this year. Really, it's it's awesome. She loved it. Um, so now we get to uh, transition our worship into another form that we do, giving. Um, so as we're about to do that, I wanted to thank everybody who, you know, digitally like I do or, or you have it um, pulled um, every so often. Thank you for your generosity and for being faithful in that. And for those of you who are preparing to give, go ahead and do that right now. Well, I give out some fun facts, or at least I think they're fun. Hopefully you do too. So it's the Super Bowl, and in light of that, I thought I would talk about guacamole. Who likes guacamole? Woo! Yes. Well, mostly this side, a few on that side. Okay, <laughs> so you guys don't have to listen, but I'll speak to these guacamole lovers. Um, so you know about eight 
million pounds of guacamole are eaten today alone. That's a lot of dead, dead avocados, y'all. I mean, a lot of avocados had to die for that sacrifice of the yeah. Super Bowl. And if you think about it, like let's 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 uh, guesstimate maybe two dollars per seven ounce avocado. Do the math. Seriously, check me on it because I'm not good at math. But that's about thirty-six million dollars on guacamole. Thirty-six yeah, million. Yeah, I'm in the wrong yeah. business. I need to grow avocados apparently. Yes. So. Not only that, we got some bigger numbers, right? Everybody, we're talking about the commercials. We like the commercials. They're funny. So there was like 66 commercials last year, and there'll probably be more this year because the NFL loves money. And it, for about a 30-second spot, it's $5 million. $5 million times 66 commercials. Hmm, that's $330 million in advertising. That just blows my that's mind, crazy. right? Yeah. And I got another number for you. Um, so... It was the, the lowest or the lowest amount you could pay for a ticket, right? When they first came out on the ticket itself, the face value is $950, right? I wouldn't pay $950 myself. I'd just buy a new TV with that. But <laughs> that said, um, if you went on StubHub on Tuesday, it was $3,540 for the cheapest ticket, wow. right? Um, that's, that's a crazy amount for like a three hour, well, let's be real, it's like a five hour game tonight with all the commercials, right? So for like a five hour game, somebody out there paid $3,540 or more. And so I wanna juxtapose that number, okay? Um, as we get a little bit more serious, and that's, that's about $2,000 more than the average church attendee gives to church. So about, the average is like $1,030 per person per year that, that consistently goes to church. So for a five-hour game, we're willing, not all of us in the room here, obviously, <laughs> to pay several thousand dollars for entertainment. But for life change, we give significantly less to that, yeah. right? So um, when we come here, when we give, we're not. it's not like we're paying... Uh, paying our way into a spiritual event. No, we're actually investing, we're actually funding life change. So I guarantee you, when you give someone in this room right now, is going to have a life change from what you did. Someone out in the community at HEB, right? We're in the far corners in the, of the earth. We already mis- uh, mentioned that we, we, Guatemala and what we do in Haiti and some of those other places, you have a direct impact on that. So I want to I want to I want you to just think about that this week that I mean I love football I love watching games I'm a diehard fan of of the Longhorns who never win and some other things like that but I also love to invest in people's lives yeah. and get the joy from that and that's something you never regret I, I, there's many times I regret watching a game when my team loses but there's never once that I walked out of here saying man I wish I hadn't given I wish I hadn't changed that person's life because it'll touch you, and it'll stick with you, and you'll have that joy forever. Well, yeah, that's so good. And you and I are uh, direct recipients of life change. If you're sitting in these seats, your life has been changed in some way or another, and you know what that means and what that feels like. So we, we make it easy around here to give. If you take a look at the screens, um, some ways that you can give are going to pop up there. One way that you can give today is by taking that blue envelope out, putting in your cashier check, and dropping it in the buckets. They're going to be passed in just a second. Um, if you have the TCC app, you can go on there. It's very easy to give. If not, you need to get the app to Today, okay, it's free. You can do it. Um, you can go online to visionarygiving.com. That's another easy way. Also, we have a kiosk out in the lobby. It's very fun and easy to use, and we position it right by the donuts. I know where okay. that is. Yes. Yeah. So it's by the donut table. You can't miss it. Uh, we do that on purpose. Also, you can text from your seat right now to 512 400 2735. It's really easy. Um, I like to make jokes, obviously, on stage, but now's the time when um, we get to talk to um, a God who really cares about that, us, and that's not a joke. Um, you can literally say anything to him, talk to him anytime. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your feelings, your thoughts. He knows you intimately, and he's crazy about you. So if you do me the honor, and let's pray uh, before this very real, approachable God who loves you dearly. Um, Thank you, God, for loving us so much. Um, you are good. Life can be so hard, and it, it, it doesn't always make sense to us. When we, we ask questions like, why? 
sometimes the answer is that you're so for us, you're, you're for our character, not for our comfort. Um, you want to make us into better than, than how we are. I know Pastor Cole said it many times that um, you love us just the way we are, but you love us too much to leave us that way. And I thank you for being willing to mold and shape us um, into something more, something eternal, which is what we're going to talk about today. You've got that long-term goal in mind. So um, help us to believe in you, to trust you, overcome my my disbeliefs, my lack of trust, overcome all of our fear in here because we're, we all are afraid sometimes. It's, it's hard for us to let go of things, um, let go of our will, to surrender to you, to let go of our comfort even. Um, I pray that you would give us the joy that could be found in, in you, um, that you carry us when we can't walk. And if you're willing, take what's freely given with joy today and, and touch the lives of somebody in here, touch the lives of somebody in our community, touch the lives of someone all over the world and let us be part of your kingdom and the joy that can be found in it. And uh, pray for my friend, Pastor Cole, that his message would, would reach at least one. And if it's one, then make it two. If it's two, make it five. If it's five, make it 10 and multiply it that there'd be real life change here today, that we wouldn't compartmentalize you, that we would take what's here and we'd go change the world with the joy and the love we have inside. Thank you for listening, for being real, for condescending to our level and for being crazy about us. In your son's name we pray, amen. Amen. You guys can have a seat. You know, I was thinking last night, because we got to come to service last night, that Connection Christmas has actually become a tradition for my family. We've been coming the past nine years in a row, and I know some of you guys have made it your tradition as well. And I was thinking about just traditions that come up during Christmas time. I know for some of you, maybe you go to Grandma's house on Christmas, and that's your tradition. Or some of you, maybe go to the movies on Christmas Day. That's a fun tradition. Or some of you guys wear your Christmas pajamas or you make your kids wear their Christmas pajamas on Christmas Eve so they look all cute for pictures the next day. So guilty. Do that with my kids. But that's a fun tradition. A tradition that my parents did for me growing up, which I still remember fondly, is they would actually write down clues and we would go on a scavenger hunt for our gifts. And I have really good memories of that. And I think a tradition that all of us have experienced is giving gifts and that's a fun one. That's a good one. And it's not, we don't do it just because we see the joy on our kid's face or because we get joy from doing that. We actually do that because that's what the wise men did on the very first Christmas. And I know we all have heard about the wise men in the Bible or in the songs, but there's not a whole lot we know about them. We don't really know their names. And we don't know specifically where they came from, but we do know that they knew the star would take them to Bethlehem and they knew they would find the Messiah, the new king. And in Luke chapter two, it talks about the wise men came and when they found Jesus and Mary, they bowed down and worshiped him. And then they gave him their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And I'm really excited because today we get to do that too. We get to bring our gifts to God. We get to come into his house just like they did the very first Christmas and we get to bow down and worship God, and we get to give our gifts to him, and it's a really special time. So I wanna invite you to get ready for that right now. And just keep in mind that there's no better Christmas tradition than we can take part of than that one that started on the very first Christmas. So we've got several ways you can give. We're gonna do that now. You can give in the buckets. They're about to be passed in front of you. You can also give at visionarygiving.com. We have our Connection Church mobile app you can use. We even have a kiosk in the lobby. Make it really simple there. Or you can text your gift and the numbers on the screen. You can text any amount to 512-400-2735. Let's pray together. Lord, I just thank you so much for what this weekend is, God, where we can celebrate you and the birth of your son. I thank you that we can come into your house where your Holy Spirit dwells within us, God. 
And I pray that as we give, Lord, just a portion of what you've given us, you would take that money and you would supernaturally use it to change so many lives here and around the world. God, we thank you for Jesus and the sacrifice that he's made for us. We love you so much. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And visit the red carpet area to receive a free gift just for you. All right. Hey, good morning, Connection Church. How are y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Doing good. All right. Good to see everybody. I'm Raul. Hi, I'm Vanessa. All right. Vanessa, how's it going? It's going well. Today's green. Got your green, green. on. Yes. Got yes. my somewhat green. My wife called it Easter green. But, you know, we're going to okay. we're gonna work it's with okay. it anyway. So. Yes. But, uh, hey, if you are a first-time guest, we want to say a special welcome and thank you for being here with us. And uh, I'm going to ask everybody to go ahead and take out the connection card, which is in the seat back in front of you. Uh, go ahead and grab that and don't drop it like I did. Um, but go ahead and begin to fill that out. If you are a first-time guest, you are so important to us. We actually consider you our VIP. That's right. We want to give you the red carpet treatment. So That's you'll right. take your completed connection card out here to our VIP red carpet area where we have a free gift just for saying thank you. Vanessa, what else do we have going on? So I want to invite everyone to experience our connection Christmas services. Have you experienced this? Yes. You, yes. 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 Anybody else out there ever Anybody been to a connection Christmas? Been to connection Christmas? Yes. That's yes. right. Give it up. Give it up. That's good. It That's good. is awesome. And so if you haven't done this, you're in for a real, real treat. So we have something for everybody. We've got hot chocolate and s'mores. There's moving Christmas carols. Santa will be there. All of your favorite Christmas hits kind of put to rocking arrangements that you'll really want to hear and, and be excited about. And, of course, we will celebrate the real reason for this season, Jesus Christ. Amen. So it's, it's going to be a great, great experience. So you need to get your tickets, but let me tell you the dates and times. December 23rd, the Christmas Eve's Eve, we'll have services at 5.30 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. And then on Christmas Eve, December 24th, we'll have services at 9, 10.30 a.m. and noon, and then at 5.30 p.m. And y'all, we want to have a seat for everyone. So after this service, go out in the lobby and get pick up your tickets for the service time and day that you want to be here. Pick up some for your friends and neighbors that you're planning to invite uh, and your family that might be in town with you. Um, there, today is the last day to get the tickets. So please, them, please, please right. grab your tickets. All right. You know, we're so excited about our Connection Christmas 6 services. Uh, I'm going to have everybody that's a member of our dream team. Go ahead and stand up. Let's let's have our dream team, our volunteer team. Yeah, dream everybody stand team. up. There we go. Woo! Give my hand. That's right. Give my hand. These are people that serve every week in our celebration services. They pour in. Y'all can go ahead and have a seat. Thank you so much. Uh, they, they uh, you know, they're... The, they're part of the reason why we have our celebration services. You know, so many things going on. We have our Connection Kids lining up over here, and I promise you we have a treat coming up in just a minute. But being a part of the Dream Team is serving. It's serving this community. It's serving through this church. So the Connection Christmas Challenge is this for you Dream Teamers. Uh, be here next Sunday and attend and serve your normal services. But in addition to that, we're asking you to step up because you are our Dream Team. We're saying, can you serve one more service? Because we know that we're going to have so many uh, family members and visitors, you know, here for our Connection Christmas services. If you are not a member of our Dream Team, it's very simple. Actually, we have our table set up out here. You can step up out there and say, hey, I want to serve on the Dream Team. It's free. It's a great way for you to get plugged in and stay even further connected here at the Connection Church. And so what else do we have going on? So we also wanted to let you know today, as we've been praying and thinking about our special Christmas offering, this is our Heart of Christmas offering, and that's going to happen today. That offering goes to help fund our global and local missions and also help with campus expansion projects. And so that's going to happen today at the end of service. So I just wanted to give you a reminder that that is happening today. All right. So thank you for that reminder, Vanessa. You know, as we get ready to receive our offering, uh, you know, you look at all the Christmas decorations, and I was reminded of a few things. You know, you see the lights. Uh, you see the Christmas trees. You know, you hear the songs. Maybe you see somebody wearing a, a light-up Christmas necklace. I don't know. You know, you might see that from time to time. But, you know, no Christmas decoration is complete until you have the nativity scene, right? Anybody have anybody have those at home? I collect right? okay. them. I love them. Yes, you collect them, don't you? I yes. remember you saying that last service. Yes. So. You know, we even have a nativity scene out here in our lobby on one of the tables. And, you know, it's, it's, it's such a great reminder because, you know, you have Joseph and you have Mary and some of the nativity scenes. Uh, maybe you have an angel that's kind of looking from on high. Uh, you have, you know, shepherds or the wise men that made such that long, you know, journey to, to bring gifts to the, the newborn king, to Jesus, right? But at the center of every nativity scene is Jesus. 
And that's true of not only of, of the nativity scene, but that's actually true of if we want to live a life that is worth pursuing, that is, that is, that is in our calling, uh, it is putting Christ at the center, putting Christ at the center of Christmas, putting Christ at the center of our families, uh, putting Christ at the center of what we do here at the Connection Church. We are so committed to seeing life change. You know, Jesus, uh, one of his you know, famous words, he's got many of them, of course, but he talked about, you know, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Well, I want to tell you, Connection Church, that we treasure families, we treasure life change. We treasure seeing people step over that line of faith uh, and committing their lives to Christ. We celebrate baptisms. You know, we celebrate with our connection kids. We celebrate uh, down in Guatemala and all the, all the mission trips that we take. And so when you give of your offerings and your tithes here at the Connection Church, you're actually helping us advance that mission. You know, we want to see lives change. We want to see lives change for eternity. So, uh, Vanessa, can you tell us how we can give this morning? Absolutely. We have lots of ways we can give here at the Connection Church. You can give as the buckets are passed using the blue envelopes there in front of you. You can also use the kiosk out in the lobby, really easy to use. You can go to visionarygiving.com and you can actually set up recurring gifts if that's something you, you want to do to help remind you. You can use the TCC mobile app. I hope you're using the TCC mobile app for other things and you can actually give using that app. Also, you can text any amount to 512 400 2735. And listen, if this is your first time with us, please do not feel obligated to give. This time of offering is for those that call the Connection Church their church home. All right. We're going to pray in just a minute, but I'm going to ask that you guys remain seated because uh, we are going to have our Connection kids coming up here on stage to have that, uh, that moment with us where they get to sing. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and pray. So, Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for today. God, we thank you, God, that, uh, that every day Christ is the center of what we do. Lord, we thank you for the gifts that you've given us, God. We thank you for uh, just the blessings, God, that we get to see, the life change that we get to be a part of, Lord. God, we want to pray right now, Lord, in faith that as we give of our tithes and our offerings, God, that uh, maybe some of us, God, we're, te- we're stepping over that, uh, that, that first step of, of faith, God, that first hurdle, Lord. And we just want to pray right now that we would feel your blessing, God, that we would, that we would see your, your word and your work in action, God. Help us to be a church that is loving the community, God. Help us to be a church that is advance- advancing your kingdom, God, that we are here to serve for your purpose and your purpose alone, God. God, we pray for today's message, Lord, that it would that it would hit home uh, where it needs to, God. And uh, again, Lord, that, that lives are changed and, and, and families are restored where they need to be, God. Again, thank you so much for all that you've given us. We love you and we praise you. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Connection Church. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? Come awesome. on, if you're good, we can make a little more noise than that. I'm excited to be here. My name is Bobby, and this is... I am Vanessa, and I just want to say real fast, the husband rocked that song, and um, that song is very obviously special to him and to me. I love to hear him sing that song, but you guys, you know, he talked about me inviting him or, you know, dragging him. It was a birthday present, actually. We were broke, and I said, my birthday present will be you're going to come to church with me, and he honored me, but you know what? And he, you know, we were in a rough place. This church saved us, God saved us, and it wasn't me. It was all God, you know, getting That's him. That's awesome. We can make some money. If you've experienced yeah. transformation yeah. at the Connection Church. So good. Well, welcome to the Connection Church. It's going to be a great morning. Absolutely. First thing that we need you to do is just to locate your connection card. It's somewhere beside you, behind you, in front of you. If you can't find one, take your neighbors. It's okay. We got plenty. Fill it out. Drop it off in the gray buckets when the service is over. If this is your first experience with the Connection Church, let me just tell you, you are so special to us. We consider you a VIP, which means you get spa treatment. We got massages at that red carpet area in the lobby. So Hold just, up. Today might be my first day. I don't know. <laughs> it's my first time, too. Take that connection card right out to the red carpet. We got a gift for you. We want to meet you. We want to talk to you. It's going to be a great day. We're so excited you're here. That's right. That's right. Also, guys, we want you to mark your calendars for Saturday, February 10th. We have an exciting event coming up called Run for the Love of It. Do you run for the love of it? I sleep for the love of okay, it. Okay. Well... A lot of us like to Sleeping run, is a sport. Or we like to, to support our community in these events. Guys, this is an awesome event. It's a chipped 5K. It's also a fun run, fun walk, if that's what you prefer. We have a kid's dash. It's about a half a mile. We also have one of the best refueling stations in Central Texas, which is all about... The donut. 
Okay, or breakfast tacos or, or food. It's awesome. And guys, this event goes to help support our local mission work and our global mission work around the globe, including in, Guata in Guatemala and in Haiti. You can run, you can walk, or you can volunteer. I'm a runner. You know I'm a runner. Did a couple half marathons back in the day. But uh, I volunteer at this one. I really like to just come see all the fun people and smiling faces. So if that's you, if you want to help out with that event, we actually have a booth out in the lobby. Sign up to, to participate or help us out. Uh, some people love to run for the fun of it. I love to come serve and watch people That's run right. for the love of go. it. So if you want to serve at it, we could use your help. It's too. early, though. It's early. you got to come early. Okay, I'll be there. I'll wake up special early. Before we get into our time of giving here at the Connection Church, which is the best part, honestly, I truly believe that, I want to ask you guys, I just want to toss out a question, see where you're at, kind of take your temperature. Do you like giving away your money? The three people that clap, remember you're in church, you can't lie. <laughs> Do you like to give your, your money away? Depends on what it is, right? That's, okay, so I, I say like, because it's tax season, we got taxes coming no, up. No, not that one. Bills. My wife just informed me via text a few minutes ago, like, you're going to watch the kids. I'm going to go shopping for groceries. And I was like, lucky. And she's like, until you see the bill, the receipt. Uh, and I was just thinking about that, but it was like what you said. It's it's almost like it's a mentality. It's a, a, a mind shift. Am I giving away my money or am I investing my money into something? And here at the Connection Church, I just want to encourage you that when you give anything to this ministry, it's not out of obligation. It's out of investment. And when you give out of investment, there's so much, there's so much joy. I can tell you from personal experience that the Connection Church does not need your money to help our numbers. We want your money to help God's numbers, heaven's numbers. And when you invest here, not only do you get to see the joy in your personal life grow, but you get to see the joy in someone who is far from Jesus come to know him and experience that joy. Whether it's here in Hayes County or in Guatemala, missions, ministry, teenagers, kids. God's doing amazing things here and in San Marcos at our church. We're so excited. So I just want to remind you, when you get ready for this moment, don't look at it as something I have to do. Look at it as something I get to do. And that is an investment into what God's wanting to do in this community. Thank you. That's such a great reminder. Thank you so much. And we've got lots of ways that we can give here at the Connection Church. You can give as the buckets are passed here in just a few moments. We have a kiosk out in the lobby that's really simple to use. You can go to visionarygiving.com, and you can actually set up recurring gifts uh, if you just want to, that to be an automatic thing that you don't um, even have to think about. It just happens, right? And then we also have an app. We have a TCC mobile app that you can use throughout the service to follow along with Pastor Cole's message. You can actually give on the app. And finally, you can give any amount by text to 512-400-2735. Would you bow your heads and pray? God, we thank you so much for what you're doing. We thank you that you are in control of every area of our life. We thank you for blessing us so richly with everything that we need. I ask that you would open up your favor your doors on 2018 with us and those around us God I thank you for blessing this church enormously this year you are so amazing I ask that you would miraculously multiply this moment that you would use what we invest into someone specific in Hayes County that you've had your mind on I ask that you would use it to help us connect with those who are far from you and bring them into a relationship with you we thank you for Pastor Cole's message, God. We thank you that we won't just hear it, but we'll receive it. We'll, we'll take it in. That next week will be different because we will actually be walking out your purpose and your plan for our life, wherever it is that you lead us. We love you and we thank you. We ask all this in the precious and the holy name of your amazing son, Jesus. And the whole church said. 400 and visit the red carpet area to receive a free gift just for you. Good morning, Connection Church. Woo! How are y'all doing out there? Sounding good, looking good. I like it. I'm right. Say hello to my little friends. 
This is Raul, our group's pastor. All right. And this is my big friend. We call him Big Trey. Pastor Trey around here, the family pastor. He's also got another title. The Chief of Chaos. Yes. The Chief of Chaos. I like it, man. We are so glad that you're here today. You guys, you look good. You look good. And we're glad you're in the house with us. I want to invite you to fill out your connection card, which you can find in the seat back right in front of you, because we want to connect with you. And if you are a first-time guest with us this morning, we're so glad that you're here. We like to refer to you as our VIP. And what we'd like for you to do with your connection card is take it out to the red carpet in the lobby because we've got a present for you just to say thanks for being with us today. All right. Yes, thank you to the VIPs. We're also excited today that we are having our Connection Group Expo. If you're in a Connection Group, let me hear you make some noise. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they got extra donuts this morning, and that's why they're hyped. Uh, I'm kidding. No, it's because that they know that doing life together is what it's all about. And I promise you that you don't want to miss out on what God has in store for you. What you want to do is you want to get plugged into a connection group because life is going to happen, because celebrations are going to happen. And you want to make sure that you have people around you that are encouraging you, that are, that are bringing you good, uh, godly accountability, and, and a connection group is where that starts. So at the end of service today, we'll have a chance to go back to the tables back there. And, and just, again, connect with people that, that want to help and do life together with you. So what else we got going on, Pastor Trey? We are celebrating today because we had a fantastic Camp K Awesome this weekend. Woo! Out of Twin yes. Oaks. So, yeah, we're super happy about that. There are three things I want to share with you about Camp K Awesome. Item number one is that we had about 150 kids who were there Woo! at that wow. camp. Item number two is there were over 100 youth and adult volunteers who came out Woo. to pour into kids for that camp. It was amazing to see. And item number three is that there were 19 kids who made faith decisions last night amen, at amen. camp. Amen, yes, yes. And eternity is different today because of everything that you guys put into making that camp happen. And we want to show you just a little taste of what happens this weekend at Camp K Awesome. So check out the screen. You know, I think I've seen that video three times now, and, and what stands out to me is every adult you see in that video looks like they're having just as much fun as every kid you see in that video. Yes. You know, there is something powerful about the way that we invest ourselves, whether it's our time, our talent, or our treasure. And when we invest ourselves in the most important things, and to me, the most important things, and to our church, the most important things are God's mission. And letting our community and our world know how much he loves them. When we do those things and invest in those things, God gives us an incredible return on that investment. And I wanted to share one quick little story with you about how that is happening in Connection Kids over here to your left. Every week, our kids bring an offering, and that offering in Connection Kids goes to sponsor two very special children. The first is a little girl named Angelica. She lives in Bolivia. We've been sponsoring her for about five years through Compassion International. And the second child that we sponsor is a young man named Cassidy. And he lives in Brooklyn, New York. And we sponsor him through um, a, an organization called Metro World Child. Cassidy and his sister and his grandmother came down this weekend for Camp K Awesome. And uh, they're here today. We're introducing them to our kids. And our kids are getting to see face-to-face -face the fruit of their generosity. And it's been so powerful for all of us and all of them. And we want to invite you, if you have not gotten on the journey of investing yourself in what God is doing here at the Connection Church, today is a great day to do that.
All right. So we're going to talk about the easy ways you can give uh, today at the Connection Church. Uh, you can give in the gray buckets as they're passed. Uh, you can give out in the kiosk out in the lobby. You can give online at visionarygiving.com. You can also give through the mobile app. And, of course, you can also text any amount to 512 427 35. If you are a guest today, we want you to know that you are not obligated or, or we're not trying to pressure you into giving. This is for those of us that call the Connection Church our home. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for who you are. Lord, thank you that when we invest ourselves into the things that you're doing, you take those tiny offerings and turn them into big returns. We pray, Lord, that our lives would be invested into connecting with others and connecting others with you. We thank you that this is a place where we can do that. We pray for Pastor Cole this morning as he brings a message that our hearts would be open to hear from you, that his mouth would be open to speak to us from you, and God, that we would walk out of here ready to do different things and better things because we're ready to say yes to you. And we ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.